welcome back to Lessons of a Housewife. Click that notification bell so you know when I upload new videos. Give me a like, comment below, share this video, and let's talk about this clip. This is an older woman who believes after 25 years of marriage, she has been deprived from happiness. So let's play the clip. Why well, get a divorce after 25 years of marriage? The short answer is because it is not too late to be happy. And I finally got to a point the beginning of the year where I decided that it wasn't too late to be happy. I still have hopefully many more years left and I would like to be happy for those years. And that was never going to happen inside my current marriage. No matter how many wonderful people, supportive people, positive people you surround yourself with, uh, it will never have as much of an impact if you have toxic people in your home and the two most toxic people in my life two most toxic adults in my life live in my home with me right now and uh, my husband was definitely someone that sabotaged all of my efforts to try and get healthy to try and feel better to be more successful to be happy I don't know whether it was intentional or not, and it really doesn't matter at this point. I want to be happy. I want to be hopeful. I want to surround myself with people and experiences and success and love and peace that I will never be able to find if I stay married. And so, we're getting a divorce and the best way I can really describe that experience of 25 years say climbing or riding in a roller coaster to the highest peak and it's just one click at a time one thing at a time and then you finally get to the top and that's the tipping point there is no going back there's nothing to fix no desire anymore to try and fix things you've already put in that effort and it's a, a free fall to a new life and new experiences and I am so looking forward to those and so today I am really grateful for the new experiences I am about to have because I am going to be able to surround myself with wonderful people and um, amazing experiences so please tell me what you are grateful for today now this woman said that it is not too late to be happy and she finally got to a point where it isn't too late for her to be happy, even with a good support system around her. It was never going to happen in her current marriage. She believes she has many more years left to find this happiness she seeks. You have got to be kidding me. After 25 years with a husband, she still couldn't find happiness within that. She failed to realize that marriage is not based on happiness. It is, marriage is not obligated to provide you with the happiness. You are supposed to find your own happiness within it. This is why it's a pursuit, a pursuit to happiness, because happiness is what everybody seeks, but everybody has to understand that this happiness that we seek, we got to create ourselves. A husband shouldn't have to provide provision, security, leadership, stability, and comfort, plus your happiness. Men might bite the bigger end of the marriage bargain, yet women can't seem to still find happiness in it. She stated it would never have an impact no matter who was around supporting her due to toxic people in the home. How do you go through, how do you go 25 years into a marriage to call the people within your home toxic? Modern women throw this term around so much, I swear it's lost meaning. What is toxic to modern women today? Your husband's leadership? You being in a feminine role? Your children that you have the duty to raise are toxic? For 25 years, you decided to throw it all away because you didn't provide your own happiness? How is it that the people in your home, how is it their fault? Why do you deprive yourself from the happiness you claim you are seeking? That is your responsibility in a marriage to find that within the role you were given. No one's supposed to provide you with happiness because no one knows what you would consider happiness but yourself. Modern women want to consider everything to be toxic that don't go their way. And the audacity of this woman to claim that her husband was restricting her from this happiness. At the point of over two decades, you decide to just leave him so you can surround yourself with people and experiences. Experiences that you couldn't do on your own in the marriage. 
People you already had around that was supportive wasn't enough. What kind of experiences are we talking about then exactly? The time your husband put into your marriage was is always overlooked. Modern women fail to realize that a man's time is valuable. And being part of that time is what brings value to you, good and bad. Yet they would choose divorce over the understanding that marriage is not supposed to make them happy. She believes she has time. With what? With what? You already dedicated 25 years to a man and you're at an age of no return. There is no time with women. It's the biggest feminist lie besides my body, my choice. Yet modern women still jump to this idea to be independent from men. There would be no one looking for a senior woman to spend time with, have these new experience with she claims she desires, or even sleep with. She did, She's the example of women that will die alone because she is so ungrateful. But you know what? Reality always kick in for these types of women. What she chose to walk away from, she would not receive again. And that support system she took for granted would not be waiting on her return. I don't understand how modern women believe that men are just waiting to be at their beck and call. Women who walk away from a long marriage at the age she is at is always on their own selfishness. She want to have experiences and be loved again by new people. The dating market is not looking for y'all. Men are not going to consider pushing aside competent mates for elderly. She will have to settle for way less of a pick out there that's nowhere near close to what her husband was. It's like modern women are rushing to become leftover, lonely, and homeless women. And I got to say, she did her husband a favor because she failed to realize that he would be way more valuable to many other women if he so chooses. Marriage is a selfless bond between man and woman and the time developed within it, good or bad, with the children raised. Those experiences is what marriage is about, not happiness. And I'm going to end my take on this clip here. What do you guys think? Don't forget to like this video, share this video, comment on this video. I love the thoughts of y'all about this clip here with this, this crazy lady and what she said. Please subscribe and support to a new channel from a housewife herself. And as always, I thank you all for watching.